right, here's an update on the, uh, the 914 LS6 rebuild, front end damage, and uh, otherwise a really nice car worth rebuilding. So the first step in this project was to create a jig and uh, taking the donor car that we that we got and and creating uh, chassis access or attachment points. So we started by building the actual jig itself, the, the square long tubing, adding some legs to it with uh, adjusters to make it level and um, then recessing it so that it would work. Um, we added rollers too so that it would handle the weight and so that worked that worked out really well and moved around easily and uh, is very strong so then the next step was to add attachment points to it to attach it to the blue car and uh, get the the factory s supposedly factory settings for uh, the 914 so that when we hooked up the white car which we knew was twisted um, we could uh, we could make it work. Um, the goal there is to, uh, to to cut off the front bent section of the 914, the white 914, and uh, attach it back together, putting the two pieces on the jig at the same time, and then welding them up. So here's the attachment points, and and uh, so so this is my success success story for today. We got. All the legs built. Just need to make the bracing between the two sets of legs. So we'll fill that gap right in there, and uh, got it so that they roll very nicely, like little cheap rollers from the the scrapyard. Worked out well, and uh, then the bolts screw down tighten up and uh, lock it in place so feel pretty good oh and then we got it turned over too that was a challenge but I uh, um, had a friend come over and help and uh, that worked out well anyways that's it so this this is after I, uh, I connected all the attachment points that I was going to do and uh, found out that there were some sharp edges there that I needed to grind off. But uh, but you could see the, the uh, like the strut attachment point sticking up high, and then the lower ones for sort of, uh, the chassis underneath. The process right now is building a jig off of a good known body, and this is what we're looking at here. So I've got three by three tubing, two by two cross tubing, and inch and a half tube going up. Um, the first two were a square tube, obviously. And some more back here. I'll take a, take a little closer look. I'll get it up in the air here. So what I've done so far is I've uh, bolted these arms up to the chassis points, ran them to the cross member and welded everything up. Got everything where I thought it was going to be good and, uh, and then went ahead and uh, disconnected it. Raised the car off the the jig and uh, and then brought it back down and uh, reconnected it so there's just a few places where it was uh, a little tight here's one example and it's really close I could jam it in there but I want it to be I want it to be as near as possible near as perfect as possible and I got really tight um, bolt clearances so they just don't slide in loosely and so this is another one I mean I could like I said, I could jam it in there, but uh, it's it's not, not not my goal. Here, here's a good little faux pas on my part. I built this uh, um, uh, engine mount to go on top of it because it's a nice flat surface on the top, and uh, and didn't even realize that of course it's not going to work. So what I did was I went ahead and sliced it bend it over. I can drop it back down on there if I want to see how the alignment is on that. I don't really think it's going to be necessary, but I probably will anyways. So again, more uh, bolts here. This one was uh, 
welded too close to the uh, pipe, so that I need to work on that. Again, this one just a tiny bit off, just the tiniest bit. So I will uh, adjust those, same with this one, and uh, then we'll be good. And we'll pull this off and we'll put the, uh, the white car on and uh, bolt it up see what we got. Okay, so here we have uh, my security camera footage of uh, us putting the white car on the jig and, uh, and it, it fit the back okay. The, the front was not anywhere close and so we're, we're doing some things here trying to figure out how to get it somewhat close and get it get it to the point where we can see where we're at so here we're raising the uh, the body back up off the jig after the initial ins initial install and uh, you see my buddy Dan at the in the picture there as well so we've got two Dan's going and uh, so we we uh, did this several times trying to get it to to fit as best we could and and basically the back fit the front didn't um, we did have to make a couple of changes to the back where the um, uh, the muffler is normally mount and the transaxle the, the guys that built the car changed those so they're not angled they're now flat so we had to do some changes there but uh, we'll we'll uh, play with it some more and uh, get it back down as best we can and and then we'll get to determining which which portions are repairable and which portions are ready to get they're gonna get hacked off so that's gonna come up next so the next portion is gonna be uh, us getting the uh, components off the front there the wiring the uh, relays uh, there's a fuel pump on the front there. All the headlight stuff is, I think, I'm probably already out of there. But uh, um, so we'll be getting all that stuff out of there so that we can cut off the the bad portion of the front end and uh, get it ready to make the new front end on. Um, so thanks for watching and join us for the next video where we continue to build on this Porsche 914, the mid-engine monster. Thanks for thanks for watching.